Hi, my name's Marion, and I am the author of a book called Broliology, A History of the Umbrella in Life and Literature. Uh, this book started its life as a quite a short essay just about um, umbrellas in books that I'd read, uh, Milan Kundera, P.L. Travers, A.A. Um, a. Milne, amongst others. Um, but as I learned more about the history of the umbrella in various cultures and different parts of the world, it quickly became something much, much larger. Um, and along the way, I learned many, many fascinating things about the umbrella. Um, so I'm going to share a few of these with you today um, with five facts that you may or may not have known about umbrellas. Fact number one, and I'm sorry, I lied. You doubtless know this already if you're anything like me. Umbrellas are very, very good at getting lost. According to Charlie Connolly, who wrote a fantastic book on British weather, it's called uh, Bring Me Sunshine, there's uh, over 80,000 umbrellas lost every single year on London's public transport system, which includes over 200 a day doing endless laps on the circle line. Even Nietzsche himself was afflicted by this problem. There is a note in his unpublished manuscripts uh, in quotation marks, so we're not even quite sure he said it, but it says, I've forgotten my umbrella and it continues to perplex academics to this day. Fact two. Umbrellas have a very long history of being used as weapons. In 1978, uh, a Bulgarian writer named Georgi Markov was assassinated on Waterloo Bridge, actually. Um, a pellet of ricin was injected into his leg using the tip of a modified umbrella. In 1812, uh, the Italian finance minister Giuseppe Prina was beat to death by a mob holding umbrellas. It was known as the Battle of the Umbrellas. Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot, uh, better known as the Penguin in DC's Batman comics, has a wide variety of weaponized umbrellas. They've also been included in many self-defense manuals throughout the years, how best to fend off an attacker using your umbrella. But I think my very favorite umbrella weapon expression is actually a Jewish curse of uh, uncertain provenance. It goes, may a strange death take him. May he swallow an umbrella and may it open in his belly. Fact three, parachutes are umbrella children. Um, noting the enormous difficulty of battling an umbrella in heavy weather, uh, early aeronauts actually modeled their first parachute designs on umbrellas. Joseph Montgolfier actually uh, f pushed a sheep in a basket off a tower and it floated to the ground unharmed um, with the aid of a massive parasol attached to the handle of the basket. So the umbrella was used as a prototype for many years, but it wasn't wildly successful um, after several gruesome parachutist deaths. So over time, parachute design kind of diverged from umbrella design and safer measures were found, but certainly they, um, their, their histories are intertwined. And there's quite a fitting link uh, in her wonderful book, Rain, A Natural and Cultural History. Cynthia Barnett talks about the shape of a raindrop as it falls. Um, instead of a droplet, which is sort of how we all imagine raindrops, it's actually a little tiny inverted um, cup. So basically a little um, umbrella shape or a parachute shape falling from the sky. Fact number four, umbrellas make excellent hiding places, not just for humans, also for swords, daggers, writing materials, secret plans. Um, early umbrella makers um, had unscrewable handles and a, a hollow, hollow umbrella stem, which they kept swords and um, compartments in where you could, where you could keep your um, top secret documents as Professor Calculus does in The Calculus Affair, the Tintin book. Queen Victoria hid a chainmail lining in one of her parasols following an assassination attempt. And Nicholas Sarkozy actually had one lined with Kevlar, which was so strong that his bodyguards were purportedly able to break tables with it. Fact number five, and my absolute favorite fact of them all, umbrellas make excellent literary devices. As they do in, in real life, umbrellas sort of thread their way through books. As long as there have been umbrellas, people have been writing about them. They have ended marriages, started love affairs, um, brought strangers together, been lost, forgotten, and in, in some occasions actually triggered the plot of an entire novel. Um, they appear in the works of Dickens, uh, Milan Kundera, Kafka, E.M. Forster, Dickens, A.A. Milne, P.L. Travers, Dickens, 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 and Dickens.